So in this video, I'm going to talk about the secret that I learned only a few years ago that helped me transform my golf swing, particularly the shape of shots, and helped me going from blocks and hooks to hitting my irons particularly much straighter than ever before. And I know what you're thinking, well, I don't draw it, I slice it. So I'm going to talk about my swing to begin with, but if you are a slicer and a puller of the ball, how this can also fix your golf swing. So growing up, I was always told, you know, that it's really important that golfers swing from the inside, and my shot tended to be that right to left shape. We can see that one turning over, and very often me missing target left, but still pretty accurate. And we can see there club path 6.9 degrees from the inside, club face three degrees closed. And like I said, you know, I was always told good players, you have to be swinging from the inside, dropping the club down behind you so that you can release the club. And as nice as that particular shot was, I did find it very, very easy to kind of aim pretty straight. So I never really needed to aim too far right with my draw, but I could aim maybe at the target, just right of target, but either hit this shot, which is that kind of pushy, cutty one, where we can see path eight degrees from the inside still, but my club face actually a little bit open at impact, which is a killer if you're going for the draw. And then usually following that one, I'd stand up, not really change a lot of my swing, but suddenly my hands would get much more active and we can see nine degrees from the inside, missing further left, and that club face seven and a half degrees closed. Now, obviously when I was a kid growing up playing golf, there weren't things like Trackman around. Yes, I know, it's that long ago. But what launch monitors have really helped us understand is how Changing one little thing in the swing might change two or three other things. And it's really important to understand that sometimes as simple as how far in front or behind the golf ball it is, how that can affect the path of the golf club. So the path, club path, is just basically the direction that the golf club is moving in contact with the golf ball. So it can only do one of three things. It can be traveling straight as it hits the ball, it can be traveling to the right, so from the inside, or it can be traveling left, out to in. Now, the little challenge is, swing direction is the direction the club's moving at the lowest point of the golf swing. So if my low point were to be directly under the golf ball, then the swing direction, the swing path would be identical. And I don't want this to be complicated, but I think once you understand swing direction and what your tendencies are with low point, it's much easier to fix your shape of shot. So when we hit shots on the floor though, we are looking for the low point to be ahead of the golf ball. Now, what we'll notice then is as the club is traveling down to the low point, it's actually moving to the right more. So definitely for me as a kid, and I suppose my brain kind of worked this out without fully understanding it. I used to hit the ball very, very high, not really compress the ball, but I think what my brain had worked out is I can kind of get that straight-ish one by not getting my low point very far ahead. My swing direction is only a tiny bit from the inside, therefore my path's only a little bit more exaggerated. And if my low point, particularly with long irons, I think I did this great as a kid, if my long point was slightly behind and I didn't take a divot, it'd really, really neutralize it. So the big thing for me is I've always swung from the inside and as I've worked on trying to get my weight forward to improve that low point, it's actually made me swing the club more from the inside and then exaggerate the path even more. And then it was how good I was with my hands. So very much for me personally now, I actually want to feel once I get to the top that I'm actually going to get the club swinging left through impact. Yes, I know. For a lot of you watching, you'll be going, that's crazy. Why would you want to try and swing out to win? Well, if I can get the club very, very slightly out to win from a swing direction, 
with my low point ahead, that should give me a much more accurate or straighter shot. So let's try that. Okay, so definitely felt like I swung left. So we can see there, swing direction four and a half degrees left, low point 4.1 inches ahead. So the club's traveling down nearly five degrees. The path is now one and a half degrees out to in, and the club face was two and a half degrees open. So kind of the magic straight one, or elusive straight one, I should say, with Trackman, would be zero path and zero face. But I have to move the club a little bit left. But for somebody who's hit blocks and hooks in the past, that last one there is like a dream shot for me. But it still, to this point, feels like I have to feel very exaggerated swinging that way. Or I could just open my stance a little bit. I tend to drop it more on the inside. So again, if I can set up pretty straight, feel like I swing left and just leave the club pointing at the target, Again, love the shot. We can see there, swinging slightly left on the direction, path 0.4 degrees left, club face 0.7 degrees open, and if we don't use the decimal points, there's my zero, zero. Now, I would stress, I'm never really searching for zero, zero, but I do love how that swing feels, and I love the fact that I can aim at target and not be aiming outside and worrying about shaping it too much. So that's really what I learned about my golf swing. Now, what I would say for most golfers, because comment below, you might say, well, I don't swing from the inside, I know I don't. So let's say, for example, you are somebody who swings a little bit left. As a natural thing, what I see with a lot of golfers though, is they don't really get their low point very far ahead of the golf ball. So what you tend to see, and they maybe even get a little behind. So you see for a lot of golfers, that one definitely curving much more to the right. So we can see my swing direction was still 4.1 left, low point slightly ahead. So the path out to win with an open club face. But you imagine if that low point's even further back, even behind the golf ball, the club's then starting to travel up slightly through impact, which will make it more out to in. So for a lot of golfers who slice the ball, or we'll say fade the ball with their irons, an initial thing is obviously to work on club face, because if that club face is open, it's hard. But remember, the ball sets off incredibly close to where the club face points. So when you're hitting a shot, if the ball's setting off right of where you're aiming, you need to work on closing that club face a little bit, impact. Then if the ball's still shaping from left to right, that means the path's more out to in. But if you can practice setting the ball off on target, and I'm, I'll do another video on that if enough people comment, but then what you might feel is that if you're somebody who kind of pops the ball up in the air, fats it, thins it a lot. Really focus ahead of the golf ball, and even without changing your swing direction, if you can get that low point further ahead, even though that one's shaping a little bit out to the right, we can see my swing direction still left. My club path is actually slightly from the inside. So yes, from the inside, 0.4 degrees, and club face two degrees open. Now this is where video camera can be a little bit misleading. So definitely to look at that golf swing, my golf swing would have been steeper on the way down and people panic like mad saying that's gonna be huge layout to win. But hopefully if you're watching and understanding, you appreciate if that low point's really getting ahead, it might not be the path that's the issue. It's probably more likely club face but if path is still a bit too exaggerated, the really easy one for the golfer is instead of making sure we've got those train tracks perfectly there, we're gonna pull that foot back a little bit and that's gonna encourage a little bit more swinging to the right. So if you're somebody who's massively over the top, work on some club face control, set yourself up, front foot nearer, back foot back, let your body move how it normally would do Really focus on getting that low point ahead. 
And you might even find that still by swinging a little bit left, but adjusting the feet, we can see swing direction half a degree left. Path now 2.2 degrees from the inside. Club face two degrees closed because that low points ahead. You really can transform your golf swing like I was able to and influence the shape of the shot better by understanding that sometimes it's about moving low point and swing direction to change your path. You don't massively have to change the direction of the golf swing. If you're fairly within a few degrees either way and poor club face control, it can look bad. Get that club face control more at target. And then if you get that low point further ahead, for you faders and slices of the ball, you're going to start hitting the ball straighter. If you're a drawer slash pusher slash hooker of the ball, like I used to be, you're going to need to work on swinging left, keep that low point ahead. And all of you watching, if you can work on what's right for you, you're going to start hitting these irons dead, dead straight.